a lot of these rapists that Trump is talking about are the coyotes that mm-hmm. sneak them across the border mm-hmm. and then and then do horrible things to the women that they've helped cross the border. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've talked about the rape trees before where they leave, you know, panties in the trees and all that kind of freaky stuff. And it, they're just it's been documented. So part of that is true. It's just that he put it so badly. Yeah. He's just not a good speaker. And so I don't know how anybody could think this guy would have a shot at the presidency. But again, we're still so far just talking yes. about how he speaks right. about this issue, which might be inartful. Uh, but we <laughs> yeah. haven't got to any policy yet, so let's keep listening. That makes sense. I basically said this. We need to mm-hmm. strengthen our borders. Mm-hmm. And they said I'm a okay. racist. Sure, strengthening borders. To get the cars and trucks and everything over here, let the illegals drive them in. They're coming in anyway. Sure. Oh, I do great with Latino long. voters. I employ mm-hmm. so many Latinos. I have so <laughs> many people working for me. <laughs> Some of my best servants are illegals. Over there. I had two waiters come up to me tonight. <laughs> two waiters. I employ them. I employ them, uh, waiters. So he's talking very, very much talking down up to and about. Uh, but maybe we're, that's just too sensitive, Pat. Yeah, okay. You know, because these right. people who are really tough mm-hmm. on the border are going to say, you know what? It's just too sensitive. Mm-hmm. Let's say it to some policy, shall we? Okay. Common sense. Hmm. They don't want these people, so they send them to the United States because the United States is run by stupid people. Some are good and some are rapists and some are killers, and we don't even know what we're getting. I'm not just saying mm-hmm. Mexicans. I'm talking about people that are from all over mm-hmm. that are killers and rapists. I've taken a lot of heat, mm-hmm. and it's unnecessary, very unfair heat because, first of all, I love the Mexican people. He loves How them. can I not love people that give me tens of millions of dollars for apartments. You have to love them. How can you not love people who give, give me, me tens, tens of, of millions of dollars for apartments? <sighs> <laughs> Again, it artful? Really bad. I'm going to say yes on that one. <laughs> like gonna go, Are yeah. you really? Yeah. You're going out on that limb? On that limb. So <sighs> waiters, wow. my employees, and uh-huh. people I sell apartments to. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, a lot keep... of reasons. I love mm-hmm. them for their spirit. Mm-hmm. And then I talk about Mexico, and I love Mexico, mm-hmm. but every time I talk about it, they accuse me of being a racist. No, no. You have illegals that are just pouring across the borders. Yeah. I was really criticized for the mm-hmm. border, mm-hmm. but the truth is it's true. Mm-hmm. They think it's like Mother Teresa's mm-hmm. coming across the border. Mm-hmm. Well, I said drug mm-hmm. dealers, I said killers, and you I did. said rapists. Mm-hmm. And they made the word rapist. They really picked that up. I tell you, I love the folks from South America. See, They're friends them. of mine. Uh, <laughs> many work for me. Many are your friends. Many buy apartments from me. Mm-hmm. I have great love for the Mexican people. Amazing. And I always have. And they like yeah. me. No apology because everything I said is 100% correct. All See? you have to do is read the newspapers. Okay. You have 20 million, 30 million. Nobody knows what it is. It used to be 11 million. Now today I hear it's 11, but I don't think it's 11. Yeah. I actually heard you probably have 30 million. Uh-huh. You have to give them a path and you have to make it possible oh, for them oh, wait, to what, succeed. What, you have wait, to, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Whoa. Okay, so. Whoa, whoa. Because there's 30 million huh. illegals here. Uh huh. You have to give them a path. Huh. A path to what? The path to the what? Path. A path hmm. to what? Because it's interesting, the people who support Trump seem to be the ones that are toughest on the border because they like yeah. the tough talk. Yet what they're getting is the tough talk with the Lindsey Graham policy, with the Jeb Bush policy policy so weird he he's saying he wants a pathway to citizenship and we have ulti- it's uh, amnesty other, it's it, it's the thing that every one of the people that likes trump called amnesty yeah it's the same thing and uh you know we have other clips to support this as well maybe we could do them on the other side but the issue here is what you're getting are all the problems with tough talk out of donald trump and then you're not even getting the tough policy you're getting the Jeb Bush, Lindsey Graham <laughs> policy. Why would anyone want that combination of two things? I don't know. Tough talk with crap know. policy? I mean, if you're going to get someone who's going to get in the news all the time for saying things that are controversial, at least they should have the best policy for what you believe in. Yes. He's supporting. People are out there. I can't believe Jeb Bush. What? A, what? You know, uh, he's uh, he's criticizing Trump. They have the same idea as to how to deal with this problem. Except Trump is saying things that get him in more trouble. Is that what you want? And Trump is saying things that fire up those of us who want something done about the out-of-control, illegal border-crossing situation. Right.
And that's true. Obviously, it is out uh, of control. Obviously, it's out of control. There is a crime problem. It needs to be fixed. Absolutely. We need to shore up the border. Now, there's not a single person alive who doesn't say that. Right. Including Everybody Jeb Bush says and that, including, including Barack Graham. Obama. Yes. Says we have to shore up the border. He just doesn't do it. So everybody agrees we have to say, at least, we're going to shore up the border. So everybody says that. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there to this Donald Trump thing except uh, pissing people off. Right. And then in the end of it, what do you At get? At the end you of it, a you get Jeb Bush. citizenship, which you got from John McCain. Right. That was what John McCain was pushing. Now you're going to get that plus the tough talk. I don't, I don't understand the combination thing.